Turning now to the latest on vaccination efforts in Rhode Island. Cases continue to decline. The health department reporting only 84 new cases today and no new deaths were reported between yesterday and today. And hospitalizations are also down. Less than 80 people are hospitalized with the virus. On the vaccine front, 70% of adults in the state are partially vaccinated and more than 520,000 people are fully vaccinated in the state. This news come, coming as the state prepares to lift all of its remaining COVID restrictions. Officials laying out the plans for that at today's weekly briefing. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us live from Providence with the key takeaways from today. Anita. Shannon and Mike, the state may be dropping most of its restrictions and mask mandates in most scenarios, but it doesn't mean you're off the hook yet. Health leaders say you should still carry a mask and keep handy proof you've been vaccinated. Friday will be the closest to normal Rhode Island has been since before the pandemic. Most restrictions will drop and the social gathering limit will be a thing of the past. It's safe to be out as long as you're vaccinated, fully vaccinated. But even as we get a sense of normalcy back, health leaders say masks will still be required in some cases like public transportation and healthcare settings. And although Rhode Island is not mandating vaccine passports like other states, some businesses may require you prove you've been vaccinated before entering. The white card you received at your vaccine appointment is your best bet, or maybe a digital copy or even something less formal. An establishment could decide that they're just asking individuals for their vaccine status. With more than half of the state's population fully vaccinated, two mass vaccination sites in South Kingstown and Woonsocket will begin winding down over the next two weeks. Both sites will still be equipped as needed to run clinics for specific community based events. In addition to pharmacies, regional and pop up clinics will still be operational. This was the last weekly COVID-19 briefing at the Vets Auditorium. It will move to a biweekly update starting June 3rd back inside the State House. Now, to, now, despite the state reopening fully in most cases, the governor has extended the state of emergency executive order until mid-June. That means Rhode Islanders can have access to things like telemedicine and unemployment benefits. Live in Providence, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. Looking ahead to tomorrow, a day Governor McKee says people have been waiting for for more than a year. It will be the closest we've been to normal since February of 2020. And today the health department reported yesterday's positivity rate was under 1%. The last time that number was so low was back in September. They also say there were no new deaths over the last couple of days. Today, Governor McKee said more than 70% of Rhode Islanders 18 and older have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni tells us what else the governor had to say this afternoon about the state's reopening. Anita. Shannon and Mike, as Rhode Island is setting to lift most of its restrictions tomorrow, now that this half of the state's population is fully vaccinated, the governor is asking Rhode Islanders to be courteous as others' comfort levels will differ as we head back to normalcy. This is a big weekend. Please be patient and courteous with each other. At the last weekly COVID-19 briefing at the Vets Auditorium, Governor Dan McKee says the state is on track to reopen fully in most cases on Friday. That means most businesses can operate at 100% capacity and you can say goodbye to the social gathering limit. All of this only applies to those fully vaccinated, meaning two weeks after your final dose of the vaccine. Don't just ditch your mask. Keep it nearby. Even if you're fully vaccinated, masks will still need to be worn in places, including businesses that require it, healthcare settings, public transportation, and schools. And if a business requires you to prove you've been vaccinated, health leaders say the best proof is the little white card you received at your appointment. The state is not mandating a vaccine passport as other states have. Make a copy of it. Take a picture of it on your phone, keep it in a safe place, get it laminated. If you lost the card, you can get a copy online. Rhode Island is starting to wind down two of its mass vaccination sites within the next two weeks, the South Kingstown and Woonsocket locations. Now, this was the last weekly COVID-19 briefing at the Vets Auditorium. It will now move to a biweekly update held at the State House beginning June 3rd. Live in Providence, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.